All right, so this piece is coming along really nicely. He has taken out the V's at the top. The next step is to split the top, split the V's, and to add the flame marks on the puppy parts. So this flame piece right here is kind of large, so I am gonna split it. You don't have to split all of them. And same thing, I wanna take a little bit out at a time. I don't wanna to try to cut too much at one time. Want our piece to appear very light we're going for uh, a look of flame now at this point you can still kind of twist the clay just a little bit and pull it in or out slightly that gives it more of a flame appearance now I can do that to every other one or I can do that to all of them it's up to you now I want to trim off these hard edges notice I'm using a loop tool The loop tool that I'm using has a round wire. This wire does not cut as sharply into the clay and it's a little bit easier to control. Now I'm going to add the flame lines on the puffy balloon part. There's no right or wrong way, except for you do not want to make straight lines. Some of them can be short. Some of them can be long. Now it's going to take some time to go in and refine these marks. This is probably the part that takes the longest. You don't want these to look like lines. Over and over, I tell you not to have your your marks look like lines. We don't want this to look like a two-dimensional drawing. We want this to look like three-dimensional flame. We don't want to see lines. We want to see depth. And notice how I'm taking out a little bit at a time and I'm rounding off that space. I do not want it to look like a line. I want it to look like a dent similar to the one we made earlier. Especially with porcelain, you're going to need to take off a little bit at a time. taking a little bit of a little bit of play off at a time and I'm continually going back in and smoothing out the edges I want there to be quite a bit of depth in my piece
rounded. So notice how I keep coming back and taking off the edges. Now when I think I have about the depth that I want, I'm going to come back with a sponge and my fingers, a very lightly damp sponge, and I also want to make sure that that sponge is very, very clean, because I don't want to accidentally rub any um, of the stoneware if I'm working with porcelain. So I want to make sure that that sponge is very, very clean, and I don't want it to have any water, so I'm going to make sure all the water is squeezed out. And I can come back and work on that surface a little bit, smooth it out. I don't want to add a lot of water to porcelain because it weakens it. And that is the next step and the most time consuming.